Art for me has always stemmed from a place of expressionism. Some of my early works display this by showing how I have taken snapshots from my mind of landscapes and turned them into abstractions on a sketch pad. The focus of my senses as I see, hear and touch my surroundings inspire the repetitions in my mark making. These sketchbook pieces have informed some of where my process has taken me. I believe that nature can simply be a reflection of our subconscious, such as memory, thoughts and feelings. Art is a way I explore my subconscious and I believe my work in many ways reflects that of a landscape. A landscape of how I feel, think and reflect. Art has always been something I find a freedom in through expression. The relationship between colour and form is where I find my interest. The way in which both elements can become instruments in conducting a piece of work, which can either be on a flat surface or textured one, excites me. I create works that can be viewed from different viewpoints, and just like a landscape, it can surround the viewer's peripheral. I like to use my senses as a way of moving with the paint and materials I use, which can be found from the influence of sounds such as the sea, music and my surroundings. My work tends to explore the enjoyment of process and sometimes is merely just a reflection of that. I mainly work on the floor having a bird's eye view of my canvas, which gives freedom to pour, move and express through wide emotions. I often water down paint to enable me to spread it around the canvas. This fluidity of the paint increases the sporadic marks that can be found in my paintings, as well as encouraging the colours to crush together resulting in a variety of tones. My work has seemed to always have a sense of journey. I sometimes use the marks I make on current artworks as an inspiration for my next pieces. I use my practice as a way of play, experimenting, trialling and testing. I never have a plan of where I want my work to go. I allow the process to take me to the next step. I enjoy how my paintings can be versatile by manipulating them to become sculptural paintings. My art doesn't include objects as subjects. It gives art the freedom to become what you make of it and how you feel within it. My influence has predominantly come from Sam Gilliam's abstract expressionist pieces that explore suspending painted canvases in large exhibition spaces. His work is, is an expression of moods, forms and materials, influenced heavily by jazz music. His non-stretched, unprimed paintings have inspired some of the mark-making colour forms I have incorporated in my own work. Another artist who's helpfully influenced me is Angela de la Cruz, she is a Spanish artist who explored distorting her monochromatic paintings through sagging or deliberately breaking them. Once she does this, she sees her paintings as objects, which takes her work on to be three-dimensional, creating a freedom from boundaries within painting. Some of her work explores the process of ph physically stretching, ripping and crushing the material. De La Cruz believes that this process represents something of an emotional relationship between fragility and strength. I want my work to invite the viewers to become part of the piece, immerse into it as you would a landscape, gripped by the push and pull of its hanging and intrigued by the process of its making through the marks that it displays. Giving the viewers something to be part of completes my work, as I find my practice doesn't have a definitive end point.